Today in the how-to video series, we're going to be covering the Zenworks Service Desk real-time reporting. Some of the components would be the report builder utility, custom fields creating the last maintenance date, item types, and the use of the report. To be able to run a report on the last maintenance date that's been done on an item, in our particular case, it's going to be a printer. We have a fleet of printers out there. We need to be able to see what the last maintenance date is for these printers. Now we're talking maintenance, which would be a service request, not a break fix incident. Okay, so let's log in and look at a couple things. We can go to our service requests and we can put in here item type printer. And we can see all our printers here, but we don't have the option to put in a custom field column here. All right, if we go into one, we can see that we have a custom field here. And this is for last maintenance date for servicing laser printers, okay? And the technician would put this in on the service request, okay? It's not for break fix, so they wouldn't put anything in there on break fix, all right? But if we wanted to, we should be able to go to configuration, and we'll go to types. And we're going to go ahead and search on the category printer servers, printer scanners, search. And we have two item types for printers, printer ink and printer laser. And we go in, let's say, to the printer laser. We can see we have fields here. And I created a field, the field we saw in that service request, last maintenance date, type L for laser. If we edit this, we can see what we have set. It's currently active. Its category is an item type. Um, customer visible, sure, meaning if the customer opens up his customer portal, he'll see that maintenance date in there, that field, but he's not able to edit it. And we put in a date. We're not going to put in a default value, but we are going to enable the description, which is what you saw when I highlighted over the question mark. So there's our custom field, and we want to use this custom field for reports. So let's go ahead and go over to our items. And of course, we can also create a custom view here to be able to see last, and I created one printer last maintenance, but you can see in here, we don't have the option for that custom field. All right. So we won't be able to get it in the display so much for here. This is very handy to be able to see how many service calls are for particular printers and so forth. So this is a real nice report, but we still don't have that column. We have other things like the service level, the warranty, whether it's expired or not, uh, when it expired, and so forth, okay, for the different items for printer scanners here. Let's go ahead and create a new request so we can track it. So we can create a new incident, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. So, and we're going to go to the deputy. The deputy three has a printer assigned to him, and we know it's his printer, and he's calling it in for some maintenance. Okay, he's getting a printer error L026, let's say. All right, this is a required field. We could put none in here if it's, if it's just for maintenance, but this is an incident, and he has L026. Now, we're not going to use this field because it is for, for not for break fix. But we're going to place an incident call, break fix incident call for this. So we're going to go service, printer maintenance, um, actually printer service. All right. And we're going to say, oh, it's fairly high. So we're going to get out there today. And we're going to go to the requests. And we'll see that this request is in here. Okay. We go on site and we see that, oh, there's some things going on. We really, really need to get this, some maintenance done on this particular printer. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and fix what he has going. And we're going to go to uh, an open state. Let's say we fixed it. All right. Close result. And we'll say, okay. Now we're all done with this particular ticket, but we need to create a service request off of this guy. So one thing that we could do is we could duplicate and hit yes. Now, if we go to 507, 
we can now convert this to a service request for this weekend's maintenance. All right. So we're going to go down here. We're going to put in this weekend for the maintenance. And now it's scheduled. And we're going to assign it to Clark Kent. Okay. All right. Now he knows that that's happening. He's going to get a notification in his email. And now we're good to go. Now we've closed out the incident, which was a break fix. We've duplicated that and given a service request to go out and do the maintenance. Okay. So we're pretty much set with our incident. And let's say we go out there on the weekend and we go ahead and we fix it. Okay. Now we want to get reporting on maintenance done, last maintenance date. Okay. Now remember, we have this date in here in this field, which is a custom field. So we're now going to go over to reports. And we're going to create four requests. Actually, we're going to go to Builder. And we're going to go for requests, service requests. We want to see the maintenance by SR. Okay? Maintenance last serviced. And it's sorted by SR. All right. So first thing we have to do is we have to figure out what we want to pull from from the database. And this could be a supervisor. You can select a manager. You could select a team here if you want. If there's a particular service request team you want to send this to or have it available for. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do technician. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start selecting the items from the database that we want to check off. So we're going to go service request, right? And since it's a service request, we want to do the request customer. We want to do the request technician. Okay. We want to do the item type. And we're going to do the actual. And then we're going to do the custom fields. Don't forget the custom fields. And then we're going to do, we got service request in there. Customer, item type actual and then item type and we may want item status okay so now it's going to start marrying these together as we select this is going to be our pool of fields that we're going to marry together so for instance we're going to go for the service requests we're going to go to the request service request id that's going to be the number. All right. We could put a display name in here and we can go request or SR number. Okay. And when we hit plus, it's going to show up over to the right. This is going to be the first column we have in our report. All right. So you want to do this by report, uh, how you want the report to look. So next we're going to go to the device. In order to get the device, we're going to go to item, actual, okay? So down here, we're going to add some more select statements. So we're going to go to request item actual, and it's going to be the number field, if I remember correctly, uh, item number, okay? We're going to hit the plus, so it's going to come up next. Now, I didn't put a, a, a display name, but I can now. If you go over here, we can actually modify this and we can go device okay and save close all right next we want the open date which is the service request where would we find that field in the service request right so we're going to go over here and we're going to go to service requests and we're going to go open date and we're going to go open. It's going to have a date built in that column, so it's kind of known that it's going to be date. And then we're going to go to closed. All right. Being able to see when it's closed. Okay. We're going to hit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to
we're going to go to that custom field. And that was custom field two. Remember, the, what you saw was um, a label. This is the actual field in the database. So kind of make note of that. But it's the item type custom two. And we're going to call this last main date. All right. And we're going to hit the plus. Now it appears over here. Now for a quick check, we can run a test at any time. And there we have all of our items. Okay. Last maintenance, close, open. A lot of these have NAs. We want to do just printers. So this is good. If we scroll down, we can see, oh, there's a printer. All right. There's another printer. Now we want to start parsing it. Okay. So next we're going to go and we're going to do a, a where statement with a runtime parameter. And it's real easy uh, to do. You just have to just play with it a little bit. Um, we're going to actually do a where statement for request custom fields. I'm sorry. No, we're not. We're going to do a where statement. Where item type and this keeps resetting, so you might pay attention that we're actually in the where statement. And we're gonna go name. And because we hit the runtime, it's gonna ask us a question. So what's the expression? We're gonna go like. Alright. So we're going to hit the plus, and it's going to put it down here under the expressions. Now, if we hit test, it's going to ask us that question. The request item type name is going to be like what? It's going to be printer laser, which was that item type, right? All lowercase, create, and you could see them there. Maybe we want to see all printers, including inkjets. Okay, so what we can do is we can hit because we're doing the like, we can do printer percent. And in DB terms, it's going to say anything that's like that after. So now we have all our printers, inkjets included, and we have our last maintenance date. We could see which ones are open and closed. All right. But these are service requests. You could do the same thing with incidents if you wanted to. Okay. So. This is how you can see and build a report for checking maintenance. And now once you hit save, once you like that, well, let's see. Maybe we want to do it by open date or last maintenance date descending, right? Have the oldest at the top because we want to know um, which one actually the oldest is on the bottom at this point. Printer, laser, create. All right. So last maintenance date. We want the oldest on the top. So we'll do ascending. Okay. So we'll take this away. All right. We can now say ascending. Add that in. Oops. Didn't take. Ascending. Add that in. Hit set test. Let's do printer. Percent. There we go. We have the oldest on the top. So we know that one has to, we have to get to. Okay. So now if we go ahead and close this, we hit save. Once we like it that way, we're going to look for this title under the requests under reports. So let's take a look. So when we go to reports, we can go to requests, and this is a service re service request report. And if we look in here, we have maintenance by service type. It's going to say like. We could put in printer percent and hit create. There's our report. So now at any time, a technician or a supervisor can come on in here and run this report and see what's going on with those item types. You can also print out PDFs or Excel spreadsheets for them. 
if you like what you have and you want to modify it a little bit, you can duplicate it and modify it. So you have do it for servers or for routers to upgrade firmware on a quarterly basis or whatever. Okay. Now, the nice thing about this report is we could put in um, any type in here. So this could not just be for printers only. This is for, again, by type SR. And I don't know what, what are some of our other types we have in here. Let's look. We can do accounts, computer IT. Let's do that one. So we can look at our computers. We go to reports. We go to our service requests. We need to go to the requests reports. And we're going to go maintenance. And it's like computer percent. And we hit create. And it'll show you. So if you have servers in here that are maintenance, if you had that field for that type, it would tell you that. Okay. And again, that particular type field is under types and it's under printer scanners in this case. And we looked at the laser the last time. We'll look at printer ink. We got fields. And we could see the last maintenance date. So what you'd want to do for servers is if you wanted that field available, you go into computer IT, you go into fields, and we'll just keep it with custom two. And we'll put last maintenance date. And we're going to go type. We don't need to do type because there's only one server. Okay. We're going to say it's active. Again. We're not going to let the customer even see that it's there because this service is on a server. They don't need to be worried about that. And then you can enable description, server maintenance date, right? And we could throw in a date and we can make sure it's just the date, not the time. You can put in date time and it'll ask you for that and then hit save. Now items with computer IT will have last maintenance data. Right? If we want to look at that, we can go to the requests, service requests, actually create, and we'll go me, my name is Sean, and we will go to hardware, computer IT. We'll pick this guy, and you can see last maintenance date here. All right? Again, that's how you can find out and keep track of your maintenance. And that particular report is nice because we didn't restrict it just to printers. We actually did it by type, and so we can put any type in here we want, and it will find that service date as long as the service date is on those devices. And filled in. So those are some ideas on how to set up a report with Report Builder to give you real-time information on maintenance last service. Thank you very much. Yeah.